Um, so on the, you know, on the professional front, um, I, I've had almost 30 years of experience, um, you know, running programs and, and providing services. I, I think, you know, 26 years ago, I was part of a, a, a team that founded an, a national organization um, called Jumpstart. It's an early childhood literacy organization that really worked to, to sort of bolster literacy development skills in preschool kids, um, you know, low income communities of color and primarily where, you know, where we know there's a language deficit that starts as early as 18 months. Um, and the, the cool thing about that program was that we, the way we did that work was to pair college students to train and pair college students to push into classroom settings and preschool settings to help bolster those literacy skills. And in doing that, we were also creating a pipeline to education with those college students by providing them with a, a child development associate, which is a cred credential that's recognized in the early childhood field. Um, so I was responsible for actually creating the national infrastructure to, to build that organization. And we also worked closely at that time with the Clinton administration, I'm gonna date myself a little bit, um, to, to um, create the America Reads legislation, which is in fact what allows uh, college work study students to participate in AmeriCorps as part of national, national service. Um, so that's sort of like the, the long-term thing. I, you know, locally I've done things like to develop a, a model in after school programs that was adopted by the Department of Youth and Community Development. And so now every uh, after school program, program in the city actually has the same model. Um, and that is an education specialist, which was a, a specific role that we created. Um, and I also, uh, you know, in my, my most recent career, uh, in the last decade in the South Bronx, created a cross-sector partnership program that provided training in the healthcare field for uh, people that were underemployed or unemployed. And that was in partnership with Montefiore Medical Center and Hostos Community College. And that program has, um, you know, exceeded national averages of, in terms of retention and promotion for the, the graduates that were successful. 